trying to go natural. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm coming on with a little something, a little surprise I guess. I'm doing a haul video. I've been pretty good this year. I've been pretty good for the last few years and not buying much outside of Black Friday. My stash is still too big and that's a whole other video. But when you see 50% off from Becura, you have to get you some. So that's what I did. I think I'll start with the ones I already know so I can just maybe tell you what I think I guess. So I'll start with the deep conditioners even though I haven't really used these in a long time. But I can tell you that I liked all of them. So I'll start with the Yam Nectar. Let's see if I can get the ingredients to you. This is really good. It's really weird to apply, but it's really moisturizing. It feels like just pretty much honey. The first ingredient is Manuka honey and then glycerin. It says here Nourisha. It kind of is a treatment basically, but I kind of use it as a deep conditioner. And it does give me deep conditioner vibes. So I really love this and it's really interesting to use. So I can't wait to use it and show you guys. I don't think I used it on camera before, so look out for that one coming up. Yeah, this might be coming up soon because I'm getting like tempted just watching it. <laughs> yeah. Then we have the Kako Bak. And this one I also like. So this one kind of reminds me of, I think Kills and Potions has a sort of chocolate type DC. Um, it reminds me of that, but of course I think this one is even better. So normally these things are just super pricey and I don't buy them usually due to the price. But at 50% off I was able to get in there and get some. So if you got money like that, <laughs> or if you want to wait for the next sale, I think usually their sales are just like 25% off or something, so this was huge. So sorry if you didn't get any, but if you can try them, just subscribe I guess or follow them on Instagram and look out to see if they have another big sale. But anyway, yeah. So I love this. Just really moisturizing, really the scent, you just feel like you're really using cocoa, which for me is good because I love chocolate. Let me show you the ingredients. Looking forward to getting in on it again. Don't know how I'm going to structure it for you guys, maybe do a couple wash days since I have like three deep conditioners here. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> and the last kind of deep conditioner that I've tried is this vanilla whiskey restoring hair soak. I think it's supposed to be like a treatment, a gentle protein treatment. But I didn't get much protein from it, but it was really fun to use. It smelled amazing. It does have whiskey malt extract in it. And it is moisturizing and it does have some protein and stuff. Um, but I just treat it usually as a deep conditioner. So, yeah. I think this one, would, I probably like the other two more. Or maybe they just worked, they worked like a deep conditioner, whereas this didn't give me that much protein. So I think that's probably why this was kind of somewhere second in my mind to the other two. But I know I enjoyed using it and I'm looking forward to trying it again. So me and Bakura are going to get reacquainted. Reunited and it feels so good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so those are the deep conditioners. The last one that I've tried before, of course, you guys know is the Honey Latte Hair Milk. So I actually do have a video of myself using this and loving it. So it's another one that it was HG, it probably still is, I don't know, like right now I love Inasi, I love Sotanicals for his ways, and I love this. I haven't done a showdown, but the three of them are kind of sitting on top for leave-ins. The Inasi leave-in is just like a dream, the Frizzwiz leave-in just another dream, oh gosh. <laughs> okay, let me do better. Um, the Frizzwiz is kind of rich and creamy, but not heavy, it's still kind of light. The Inasi is lighter, both are super moisturizing. I want to say the Frizzwiz might have more of a slight hole than the Inasi. This one is super light, super moisturizing and super defining. So my hair was like a huge defined cloud in a way and I love, give me defined cloud any day, that's my thing. Lots of slip, smell great and everything, yummy yum. So I can't wait to use this again as well. Yeah, gonna have some bacteria coming up soon, eventually. eventually. <laughs> Anyways, let me show you the ingredients. So surprisingly, this has shea butter in it, which I usually, I don't really go for like a lot of butters and stuff in my leave-ins. I don't know if it's like the raw honey or what, but you know, it's really like light, it's not heavy. And this penetrates my hair really well. So check out that old video just to see what it did for me. Let me tell you what it did for me. Okay. <laughs> so now we get to the new stuff that I haven't tried yet. I'm gonna start with the cleansers. I'm glad I picked up some cleansers. Right now, co-washing just isn't doing it for me with my gym schedule and with my washing schedule. Like, if my scalp is talking to me, co-wash is just not doing it. I need shampoo, so I'm glad to have more shampoo in my life. 
I think ideally, probably if I wash my hair on time, I can co-wash, I can get away with using like a cleansing co-wash. But if it hits two weeks, definitely I need to shampoo. And anything past one week is iffy. I'm gonna probably buy some more, like I'm probably gonna be hitting shampoos a lot for Black Friday, so look out for that. I know people don't usually care about shampoos. Like I love the Blue Rose shampoo. So if I do buy Blue Rose this year, and I definitely love her products, but trying to cut back. <laughs> so if I buy Blue Rose this year, I'm getting shampoo for sure. But whoever I buy from, I'm gonna probably check out their shampoos. But anyway, so cleanser. So I got this Pure and Mint Leaves Hair Purifier, it's called. But it kind of is, it's pretty much a shampoo. It's kind of like if you want to get your stuff really clean, 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 come over and check us out. That's pretty much, that's, um, paraphrasing. But that's pretty much what she says in the description. But let me show you the ingredients and then I'll show you that. So she's saying that this is her answer to product build up and stuff. So for me, my issue is really product buildup. I don't use a lot of heavy products, so I don't really have a product buildup issue. My issue is just like I want to get the dead cells and dirt and stuff off my scalp. So that's why I shampoo personally. So I don't want a super stripping, clarifying shampoo, but I am willing to try this. And I do want to do like a little shampoo mix thing to show you guys like how you can soften up your shampoo. So I want to do a video on that because shampooing every week ain't really it when it comes to your hair, even though my scalp enjoys it. So, another video, but I'm curious to try this. Hopefully it's not too stripping, and if it is stripping, we're gonna take care of it. Don't worry. It does have lots of like shampoo stuff that cook up aside. It has some tea and stuff. I don't see anything super hydrating in here, so a little scary, but we're gonna make it do what I do. Don't worry, we're gonna, we're gonna fix this up. So it should be fine. <laughs> yeah. Okay, the next cleanser I have I'm more optimistic about is just this fatty coconut cleansing hair froth. So it does have cocoa betin as the second ingredient, so it does seem like it means business as a cleanser. But it still at least has some coconut milk and stuff and hopefully it's at least a little bit moisturizing as well. It's supposed to be a softening shampoo, so I'm happy that I have some shampoos in my life. We need it down here in the scalpy scalp. So I'm gonna show you the description. I don't usually show you descriptions. I don't usually read descriptions, but I like the descriptions. And they tend to be very helpful, especially for the yam nectar. If you do get that, PS here, read the description and read the directions. Cause I think like usually products, I don't really care, but I feel like her descriptions and directions are kind of necessary and on point. So yeah. So looking forward to trying this for sure. I might even just go ahead and put this over there with my in use stuff because um, this is going to get used soon. I need more shampoos in my life. So then I have two creams because I don't need creams. Why do I have them? So I guess I, I'm going to probably do a braid out for you guys. I do want to cut my hair like right now. It's kind of cut for a wash and go to be pretty much level for a wash and go. But when I do twist outs, the back is like super long. So I'm thinking I just want to cut it even for like a twist out and I don't know, let the wash and go do what I do. So I'm thinking about doing that. And I feel kind of weird doing a braid out and stuff before I've done that, but I don't know, I might just try it and just see what's good with it, you know? Maybe I might even take a scissors and wreck it myself, so I don't know. But anyways, I got this Tonga Mousse Opulent Hair Cream. So part of why I got this, I think this one can be used as a leave-in. Yeah, it does say ultra rich leave-in. So this is pretty much a leave-in. So that makes me happy because I don't really use creams per se, but I do use leave-ins. So you call yourself a leave-in, I like it, we good. Nope, it really ain't moving in there at all. So it is definitely ultra rich as she said, but she said it's a leave-in, so she's speaking my language. Ingredients are definitely concerning because castor oil is the first ingredient then water, then um, olive oil and glycerin, which concerns me, um, my little porosity self. I'll try this a leave-in. If it doesn't work as a leave-in, I'm gonna try this a cream. These are the ingredients, let me show it to you. So I'm a little nervous about the ingredients, but I know Bakura has never really done me wrong. So I'm thinking maybe that she knows what she's doing with this, so we'll see. And then I have this Karate Ulat. Fancy names, <laughs> but this one is another leave-in as well, and it's another kind of buttery leave-in. So she's calling them leave-ins. They look like creams, and we'll see what really is the business with this. This one at least has water as the first ingredient, so I like that. 
And it's another one that is not moving in there at all. You can see the clear line is not moving. So yeah, maybe this is to people who like heavier leave-ins. This might be for you. If you are like heavier leave-ins and you got the, the dollars, this might be for you. <laughs> she says the condensed milk kind of consistency. Is she Caribbean? I don't know. But anyway, I was feeling that description. So I like her names and I like her descriptions. I feel like she really puts a lot of thought into them. So that'll be interesting. Now I don't know what to try first. So many options. Y'all can help me out. What do you think I should try first? Because I love the honey latte. Yeah, milk, I already know that. Do I want to try the tonga mousse or do I want to try the karité oulat? Which one do I want to try first? Or should I go and try the hair latte first? Decisions, decisions, right? And last but not least, I have this Bahari Water Revival Hair Tea. So I'm not a huge user of sprays, but I do like a little spritz to give my little wash and go, a little spritzy spritz midweek or something. So I do use them for that. Let me show you the ingredients of this one. So it's just like a nice moisturizer that also has like tea and spruce stuff stuff. So I'm looking forward to trying it out. Irish moss, yeah. So I don't know when I'll be trying this, but it's in my stash. I really have too much stuff, you all know that. And I'm really cutting back. This was just, the crew was 50% off. <laughs> but other than that, like the only sales that are getting me for Black Friday are gonna be 50% off and above. For real, for real. For really, really real. I may not even get I don't want to say I may not get, but I may not get certain brands I always get because I have tons of them already in my stash. But I am going to still do my pre-Black Friday video and tell you all everything that's on sale, what's available. But in terms of my haul, hopefully my haul will be really tiny this year. So yeah, <laughs> I'll make up for this big career haul that I'm feeling kind of guilty about right now. Guilty and excited and happy. I want to talk about this whole PJism thing too because I really, I feel like I'm not a PJ anymore. I know it sounds weird with this haul. But I feel like I, I can let things pass, I can let sales pass. It's just like Bakura never has a sale this big. And I just had to dip out for this Bakura. I want to say this is the best line in terms of quality, like highest quality line on the market. The price is definitely up there as well, but in terms of the quality of the products, it's just a different level from everything else. So I do think it stands out that way. Let me know if you took advantage of the Bakura sale. Let me know if you have tried Bakura. If you haven't, you definitely need to try it. You're missing out for sure. So that's it. That's my haul. Thanks so much for watching everyone and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.